So if there are some things that can happen when you use the Z Modeler brush that can be little gotchas that I thought would be good for people to be aware of. Here I have just a simple plane. I've literally just created a grid and then hit make poly mesh 3D. And you'll see if I use the Z Modeler brush, B, Z, M, I Q mesh a single polygon, everything works fine. If I look on the other side, that's fine. If I push it down, that's fine. And I can take strips of polygons by holding down Alt and selecting strips and pushing them up or taking strips and pushing them down and everything works fine. I'm not going to put on double sided here for the moment. What I wanted to show you is that if you do have a strip or a single polygon even and you choose to delete that polygon and because I held Alt to select these, I can, it will treat it like a single polygon so I can delete these. The difference now is that anytime you have an open edge like this, if you meet that open edge, the Z Modeler brush reacts in a strange way. So I'm going to change back to QMesh the way we had before. And you'll see that I, if, I, if I now take a polygon and I push it out here, everything seems to be fine. But if I look on the other side, we have a new polygon which shouldn't be there. So this polygon shouldn't really exist and will be problematic later on. We can do this with sets of polygons by holding down Alt and making selections and pushing them down, for example. And you'll see this creates a double problem. Here we actually have faces on this side here, which we don't want. And even worse, we actually have these green faces, uh, which are actually on the top here, which we don't even see. So the only way you're going to see them is if you go down here and go to display properties and turn on double. And then you'll see that those faces are actually there. And if we were to turn on dynamic mode by pressing D or going here and pressing dynamic mode, you'll see that it's, it says that we've got some problems here. So sometimes that will happen to you that you'll have these, these strange problems and you may not see it if you don't have double sided turned on down in, in uh, display properties and under initialize or display properties rather. So sometimes that happens and you may not even see that you have those problems uh, and you can keep on sculpting away and not really know that you're actually having an issue. So here, for example, you can see I'm trying to push this up and it's deleting a polygon from me and that's because we had one at the top. So all kinds of unpredictable behavior happens when you have an open edge. If you push a single polygon, you're gonna have that extra face here at the bottom. Or if we push it, push a group of them by holding down Alt and making that selection. The same selection would be fine anywhere else on the model. Um, it doesn't cause an issue for other stuff. Uh, if we can turn on double sided here and see that that's fine. It's literally just when you hit an open edge like that. So where this can become especially problematic is if you start using loop tools. For example, if I go here to QMesh and I choose to QMesh a poly loop, I can select which way that's going by using the orange line here. And if I QMesh this poly loop, everything looks like it's okay. What's actually happened is we've created a whole new loop down here because that poly loop reached an open edge on either end of this. So the same would apply if we did it up here. If I did a loop here, if I pull that up, we actually have a problematic loop underneath and that's purely because we've reached an open edge at some stage during our selection. So this problem exists as of this version of ZBrush. I hope they fixed it in the near future, but you never know. So I hope this tip helps someone and as usual, if you find these tips helpful, don't forget to click like, subscribe and all that usual YouTube -y stuff. All right, cheers, bye.